Hello friends, so today in this video, we are going to discuss another problem from lead code on trees. The problem name is maximum difference between node and the ancestor. So as you can see, I'll tell you in simple terms, it says that you are given a binary tree in this format and then you actually have to find out what is the difference between any two nodes. But like the difference between them is such that they should be ancestor like AI and BI. Like if you take out two nodes A and B, A should be ancestor of B. Like it means that you cannot take out like this and this node. You are not finding out the difference between any two nodes in this whole tree, but finding out the difference between two ancestor, like ancestor and current pair of nodes. In simple terms, it says that you have to take out two nodes such that one node is an ancestor to another. And then among those nodes only, you have to find out the maximum difference, the absolute maximum difference. As you can see in this example, like the, like the example can be, if, 8 and 3 because 8 is the ancestor of 3 so you can find out the difference between 5 you can take out this these two nodes which is like 8 minus 1 which is 7 you can take out these two nodes you can take out these nodes you can take out these nodes so that like one node is above the another you cannot take out two trees in like two nodes in different sub halves i hope you understand the logic part now not the logic the question part so you have to find out the maximum value the maximum absolute difference so as you can see this is the absolute difference which is the maximum is uh, like 8 minus 1 which is 7 okay so now what you can like think over this problem is i always think of these type of recursive problem in like what i can get from the left sub half and the right sub half like how can i traverse this tree such that i can find out like whether so let's assume that this this is the node like what i can get from the left and the right sub half or like what i can travel like how i can travel down the tree and what information i can get up the tree so now what you can simply like the first thing which comes to my mind is okay for if can i find out for every node for every node can i find out what is the maximum and minimum be below like in the subtree in the subtrees of the current node if i can get that then then for every node i can check that so because every node is the ancestor to another node okay except the leaf nodes but you just uh, like think that every node is ancestor to some other nodes in the subtree of that and then if you take that node into consideration while, while finding out the answer you have to find out what is the minimum or maximum value in the like if you find out the minimum or maximum value in the sub half tree in the subtree of that particular node then obviously that is the, that is the ancestor that is the children and like, like this like it, the nodes in the subtree and then what you can do you can just find out the absolute difference and that's the answer because you are taking out one node which is the maximum minimum in the subtree and you're taking the consideration of the particular node you're taking that particular node into consideration and then the answer will be obviously from the maximum and minimum only now because other other nodes will not give you the perfect answer uh, i hope you understand the logic part so you have to recursively get for every node you have to call out on the two subtrees for every node if there exist some subtrees as you can see there is no subtree on this part but for every node if there is some subtree on the left and the right side, just call that function which will send me the maximum and minimum value in the sub half of that tree. And then if you when you get that value, you will take that value and the current node itself and then match out what like whether this is forming a maximum pair and then you will send out like now I have the maximum minimum value in the subtree. So let's assume that for 10, I will get that the maximum value is 14 below it and 13 is the smallest value below 10 then i will find out the difference and now this 10 will also send out the maximum and minimum value for this subtree now so now consider that 14 is the maximum value now can like because now this will again form a subtree so now i will again re-update my maximum and minimum for this subtree and send it to the above node and that's the whole recursive problem I'll move on to the code part now because in recursive problem you have to first define the like the end case the end case of, of almost all the tree problems is when you reach the root there is no null like okay just think that okay when I reach the end the end node for the end node when I reach a root like when I reach a node which is null there is no like the like the node like the node itself is null this node exists okay but when, when i go to the left side of this node that is null which means that if it is null the maximum and the minimum is zero like there is no node so you will return out zero zero which is like returning out the maximum minimum value the first is the minimum and the second is maximum 
okay but for the current node let's assume that you are on a node which is having no left or right child if you are or, or like if you are on a node which is having no left or right child then obviously what you can think what is the maximum minimum value the maximum and the minimum value is the node itself because the node is having no left or right child what you can compare to so the node itself is the maximum and the node itself is the minimum so if the node left and right child are null then you will return out a pair which is having the minimum and maximum value which is like the root value itself okay but what you'll do you and for any other nodes which is having some left or right child what you'll do you will call the function again which will give you the left and right child but maybe the left child doesn't exist so that's what i've done here i have called the root left i, I have checked that whether the root left is null if it is null means that i am not getting any maximum values on the left side because it is null if for this node if it calls on the left side give me the maximum minimum value there is no subtree on the left side so it will not get any value so like instead of returning out any absurd value because zero is not the value which is there i have seen in the constraints okay so zero is the minimum value okay so like it doesn't matter uh, so like this is no dot value like it's the like the smallest value like you, it doesn't matter so you can also make it minus one if you want but what i've written here is i have made a pair because everything is working in pair i am getting a pair of minimum and maximum value so i have returned out and i have made this value making zero and zero which means that which means that like if there is no value on the left side if there is no subtree the minimum maximum value is zero which i have also centerized here if there is no maximum minimum value i will, I will return out zero and if there is some like if there is some subtree then i will recursively call this okay function to get the maximum minimum value because this okay function is returning out the max like the minimum and maximum pair for the subtree okay just think over that in a recursive form this function which i'm writing out is actually recursively giving me the minimum and maximum value pair as you can see so i have to call this function out recursively on the left side and the right side to get me the maximum minimum and minimum value okay what is the base condition if it reaches out to the null value it will be giving me zero if both of the children are if both of the children are not there then obviously the maximum and minimum value is the root value itself okay but now now i have gotten down on a root so that like as you can see there are three type of nodes the node which is null i will return on the case for that a node which is having no children i will return on the case for that a node which is having one or two children now i am writing down the case for that for that node what i have to do i have to first find out if i have taken this node into consideration i will go down the maximum value and the minimum value from the left side and the right side so i have to now find out like what i have to find out i have to find out that okay whether the like the left left part is not null which means that i have got something so i have to find out the maximum value the maximum value can be the maximum itself or the absolute value of the root value minus the left first which means that the minimum value from the left side the left subtree minimum value or the left subtree maximum value subtract them out from the root value and then that's the absolute value will, will give me the value i hope you understand because i have taken down this node into consideration and then i have to find out the minimum maximum value from the left side and the right side and that's what i've gone and then what i actually have to do here is i have to find out what is the like because now i have found out the maximum value considering the left subtree and the right subtree the maximum difference now this node actually also have to send out the maximum and minimum value to its parent also keep that in mind so i have to find out the current maximum current, current minimum it means that the what is the current maximum till now if i have to consider down consider down this tree if this node into the subtree now this subtree i have to also send down so current maximum for this is like the root value itself but now i have to also compare it with the minimum and maximum value i have got down from the two subtrees that's what i'm comparing it if the left subtree exists then for the left subtree i have to also compare that whether my maximum value the second is the maximum value is more than if that is the more than then i have to return out i have to update my current maximum if the l dot first which is the minimum value from the left subtree if that is smaller than the root value then the then the smaller value for the whole subtree will be that value only na because see if the if the as you can see in this if the left subtree is giving me value 1 which is minimum and my current value is 3 then obviously the subtree value minimum for this part it will be 1 not 3 because i have to compare it with the current value 
and the value from the left subtree because that can be more minimum i have to send the to the above node what is the minimum among this whole subtree okay that's what i'm updating here for the left part and, the, and for the right part you can look down to the code i will put the code in the description you can check that code out also but i hope you understand the like somewhat the crux part i am recursively calling out there are three types of nodes null the node which has no children and a node which is like an intermediate node and i have to take on for all the cases and then i have to also recursively call the function again to get the information back and then i have to also as you can say i have written down when there is no like the root is null then i have written down a pair which is 0 comma 0 if there is the both the children are not there then i will return on a root which is having both the values same but when there is some intermediate value i have to return down the maximum the minimum and the maximum pair among the whole subtree and that's what i'm returning out here so i hope you understand that i have taken down the condition for all the like all the proper conditions and all the proper node values and that that's the whole problem and that's the whole logic i hope you understand the logic and the code for this problem if you still have any doubts you can mention down in the comment box i'll see you next one till then keep coding and bye